I want to give thanks that I can give thanks. <laughs> because God has done so much in my life that I'm able to give thanks for everything. I, we, I, I put in a bit extra for the Christmas dinner, and I was thinking, well, who shall I invite? And I invited a couple of neighbors, and they said, I'd love to come. So, praise the Lord. Brilliant. Good. Okay, you. brilliant. Go on, Jonathan. You know what the comfy chair feels like. It feels like marshmallows, isn't it? You said that. Okay, Paul, yeah. wh wh what have you got to be thankful for? Well, I, I texted Neville this morning. Uh, he asked me the question on text this morning, so I texted him back, and I thought, the only thing I can thank God for is for saving me. Because if he hadn't saved me, I'd be in a right mess. Yeah. Uh, and, and I think that goes for all of us, because we wouldn't be here today. I wouldn't be the person I am today. I mean, some of you think I should be changing. Yes, no, I'm what God made me, and gonna, that's, what, that's what you get. Uh, sure. What, one, one thing that's changed, you said you've been a right mess, okay. Patrick, let, let some other people get in the queue, okay? I know you, you, you want to get in there, okay, but there's other people that are going to get in there, right? I know you, you're welcome if we've got time, right? Okay, one thing that's changed. One thing that's changed. One thing that's changed. My attitude. His attitude's changed. Brilliant, okay. Next one. Give him a round of applause. Okay, Jonathan, one, one thing that you're thankful for? Um, just everything. Everything is, uh, I'm thankful that God gave me a, 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 new, a new life, new heart, um, new way of thinking about things, just new, new attitudes, just everything I'm thankful for. Brilliant, fantastic. Give me a round of applause, next one on. So we need some more people in the queue now, okay? So. <laughs> I am, I'm, I'm thankful that in one day, and I, I texted this Neville this morning, in 1985, like three million years ago, God spoke to me, like, I felt like I was a nobody, I knew nothing, I knew nothing, and yet he spoke to me in a way I knew that I could respond to, and I did respond that day, and the, the impact on my life has been amazing. And there's never been a moment when I feel like he's abandoned me or left me. And you know what? Even in the darkest moments, just focusing on God, and I've got the joy and the peace and rejoicing just flows out that even in disasters, I've known the peace of God in, in crisis times and, you know, sitting with somebody who's possibly going to die. And yet somehow... The peace of God remains me. He's always been faithful, and I just can't get over what he's done for me. Brilliant. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> yeah, I just want to thank God for placing me here in this fellowship, uh, saving me, dying for me, and bringing me to this wonderful family I've got here. And that's even more so just recently when I've been poorly the support I've had, the love, and I know the prayers that have gone up for my health, and that's why I'm sitting here. And I just, well, where else would I go? Yeah. What a wonderful family of God we have yeah. here. We should never, ever forget what he's done for us because it's, it's just beyond anything I can say, really, the love that I feel from the Lord and from you all. Brilliant. And I just want to thank you for it. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Fantastic. Thanks, Tony. Brilliant. Right, I just want to praise God. This is uh, something that happened about four or five years ago. My son had only uh, recently been saved, married, and was on his way back up to Scotland where he'd moved. Uh, he had a little red sports car and, and um, got his foot down, was going back, and... Um, they stopped off at one service station, used the facilities, set off again, and his wife suddenly turned to him and said, you've got to stop. I, I, need, I need the facilities, you've got to stop. And he wasn't happy. He just wanted <laughs> to get to his goal. But he, God spoke to him and said, listen to your wife. So he, he was mulling this over and it came again, listen to your wife. So he pulled into the next available service station um, and his wife sorted herself out and got what she needed and came back in the car. And as this pulled out, reversed out, the whole of the back axle just departed from the rest of the car. Now, if he'd have been travelling at speed, I wouldn't have had a son, would I? So I give thanks to God uh, for that. Amen. Fantastic. 
And, and it's, it's lovely as well. I had God speak to me as well, say, listen to your wife. It's, I, I, I don't know how many husbands he, he needs to speak to like that, but it's, it's good. Yeah, and, and um, Lee, uh, he's the guy that made the cross and the picture in the lounge there as well. We, real, real blessing, yeah. Cara. Hello, Neville. Hello. <laughs> right, put the mic to your mouth. Sorry. And then, so what are you thankful for? Um, well, I'm really thankful to God for fellowship because that's something that's really, really important as a Christian to have fellowship. Um, I come here on my own, obviously, as everybody knows, and it's just really lovely to have friendship and fellowship. And also, as well, um, I'm really, really thankful to God that, you know, we have things like Bible study here and a prayer bubble um, and all the teachings online because as a Christian, you know, you have to witness to other people. And, um, you know, things that I've learned that God's taught me the last sort of three or four years, it really, really helps me to witness to other people because sometimes when you're, you know, people think the Bible is a fairy tale. They think it's it's um, some sort of a myth or, or a fable, and it isn't. It's real. It's real. God is real, and it's really good to be equipped with answers for people because people do have questions, and we need to be equipped with answers for them. Um, so the things that I've just been taught, like God has really opened my mind in the last, you know, three or four years about you know the, the truth of the Bible and and also events and history and the culture and things like that. And it just really helps. So brilliant, fantastic. Give her a round of applause. Thank you. Go on then, Joan. I'm thankful for God, uh, for his presence, for his wonderful love, for everlasting love, never fail and never forsake me. Uh, despite of the trials that we have for the past few years, he's so wonderful to us and he's still with us all the time. Amen. Fantastic. Thank you. Now, on, online, probably somewhere on our website, you'll be able to find um, the, a, a longer testimony um, have, have we, is it up there? Have we got it? Do you know Marianne? But it's a, an amazing testimony that you and Jake gave that, um, I don't know, it was a year ago perhaps even, but just a wonderful testimony. So ha have a look online for that. Brilliant. Thank you. This is Rima. Hi. Um, I have many things to be thankful to God for, but um, mainly uh, it's the courage to be able to go out from the comfort zone because um, uh, I just arrived here like three weeks ago. And um, when I did my quiet time or my devotion to God, um, I realized that he is the same God that I talked to when I was uh, yes. in, at my hometown. So I realized that comfort zone is where God is. It is where God is. And um, secondly, I'm, thank I'm thankful for the church community I've found here because it's one of my assignments uh, when I came here to find a home and second, to find a church community. So thank you for accepting me here. Oh. Yeah, I felt uh, welcomed and yeah, I felt the warm, uh, warmth. Yeah. <laughs> and then thirdly, uh, I'm thankful to God for uh, a gift of a baby because I gave birth um, around seven months ago and we have a baby now and um uh, it would be a joyful Christmas, I must say, because um, it's the second, uh, you know, greatest gift of all for me. So, yeah. Oh, lovely. And what's, what's your, your baby's name? Uh, Theophilus. Theophilus. So fantastic. Yeah. So I think is that the book of Acts or Luke? Um, yes. my, my dear Theophilus. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah. And we pray that um, God that uh, Rayma will live up to her name, that she'll be speaking the living word. We, yeah, yeah, revelation of God. Fantastic. Thank you. Move on over. Genesis. Yes, this is great. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Genesis. Um, I want to thank God uh, really for, um, just like Rima, giving me the strength uh, uh, during these trying times of being away from my family for quite a long time. And hopefully, I will be able to be with them again soon um, and that's the that's what I'm hoping for and secondly um, I would just like Rima uh, I want to thank God for pointing me in the right direction and putting me in the right fellowship uh, I really feel, felt welcomed uh, last week my was my first time here and I, I thought to myself that um, this is where I should be every week every oh, Sunday. brilliant thank you and that is lovely and and just you're saying about your family is that is, are you married or is it your parents? Or? Yeah, uh, I, my wife and I have two kids. Yeah, one is six years old and the other is three years old. Right, well, we'll be praying for you, okay? Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Brilliant, yeah, thank you. 
before Jack um, shares, anybody else like want to get up, but you're feeling a little bit shy and you're feeling like, do you know what? I can't do it. Go for it. Go for it. You're, you're amongst people that love you. And um, is there anybody else that, because I, I think there might be people that re really would like to, but just a bit nervous about doing it. So um, God says it's good for us to give thanks. And also it says it's to give thanks in the assembly, like when we're together, because it's, have you enjoyed hearing what they've had to say? Yeah. It's been brilliant, hasn't it? It's fantastic. Um, glory to God. Fant yeah, that's brilliant. Okay, Jack. I just want to give thanks to God for giving me the strength to carry on in the, seem in the face of seemingly impossible odds. My most recent prayer to him has been, what are you playing at? <laughs> what am I to do? And he basically just says, keep the faith and keep going. Amen. Brilliant. Well, thank you. And, and, you, and it'll do you good having said that out publicly. Well done, Jack. Well right. done. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> so, hi there. I, I'm Neville, and you are? I'm Lucy Isaac's mum. I've got a bit of a cough. I have done a test. It's not Oh, crazy. wow. <laughs> Fantastic. So, I just wanted to come up. I was a bit shy at first. I just no, I wanted don't believe to that. say thank you to God for all of you, for how you are with Isaac. Like... I don't know how much you know of Isaac, but um, so his dad's a vicar, and his, my children have always sort of lived as the vicar's children, <laughs> and not, but Isaac's just come into his own being here. And um, they were at St. Thomas's, and somebody came up to Matt and said, oh, you're Isaac's dad, and he come home and he said, um, it just makes such a change that uh, you're Matt's son. Somebody said to Matt, you're Isaac's oh. dad. So like, I just want to thank you all. I can hardly, like, I've got a really bad cough at the moment, right. so I can't talk. But, but thank you anyway. Yeah. Like, thank you from me to you personally, and thank you to God. Right, and, and before you go, how is Matt doing? Because we, we, we've prayed, we prayed last week for, for Matt, um, Isaac's dad. Um, he's doing a lot better. So we had an ECG last week, and it looks like things are settling down. He's still got to go to hospital for a heart scan. Um, Things are a bit manic in our house, so we've got a grandchild as well, and then got two other children. Um, so I've sent Matt to Stoke to stay with his mum, <laughs> just so he can have a bit of peace from all of us. <laughs> and there's still people knocking on the door because of the nature of the, the calling. So, um, yeah, thank you for praying, and he's doing God matters. So Brilliant, thank you. thank you. Give her a round of applause. Thank you for coming to sharing. And just, just interesting, while your husband's away, you've gone to a different church. <laughs> Isaac. Uh, um, first, I'd like to say thanks to God for blessing me with a handsome face. <laughs> yeah, amen, yeah, amen. Uh, um, thanks, I thank him for the opportunity for coming here, because I've met loads of new people, and um, I've been able to help out at the youth as well, and that's been a blessing. Yeah, well, you're a blessing to us. It, he has actually, we, we are so gracious towards him as well, cause, and, and Kay is as well. Do you know what, because the youth team come around and have a meal around our, our house on Thursday evenings. And um, do you know what Isaac has done twice? He's taken a piece of Kay's jigsaw home with him. <laughs> This second time, he was going to wrap it up and present it as a birthday present. But if you'd, anyone's into jigsaws, you know that is a cardinal sin. Right, OK. Do you want to respond to that? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, thank you. Hi, Rosie. <laughs> Hello. Nice to see you. I was just going to say... Um it was hard for Kay to finish the jigsaw, but uh, <laughs> Isaac had like 99 pieces missing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is another way of looking at it. <laughs> but it was Kay's jigsaw. <laughs> it was actually a 500 piece jigsaw, anyway. <laughs> Go on then, Rosie, yeah. Uh, it seems like a bit trivial in comparison to everyone else, but um, just I want to thank God for, for a car, because. Uh, yeah, I've just been getting up early in the morning, quite early, and relying on like one of the directors from work to give me lifts to work with this big Mac. Um, and my husband's been cycling like 
I don't know, like half an hour every day, like twice a day. So it's really nice to have a car. <laughs> brilliant, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, Rosie, it's brilliant.